when we talk to when I talk to the natural love spirits who are running the oneness movement they are very very focused on intellectually reasoning with me about God and when a person is intellectually focused on reasoning with you about God they haven't experienced God completely and they can't experience God's complete, God completely until they have the complete emotional experience. Now, um, did any of you watch the second set of DVDs, uh, the second day's DVDs before you came? The channeling of Lucinda? Do you remember the, in the channeling of Lucinda what she actually said? Remember she said that she was in the sixth sphere in a natural love state. She believed herself to be connected with God completely. She believed herself to be at one with God. But then, after visiting the earth and talking with us and, 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 and feeling there might be something more within her soul, she felt a twinge, she said, of dissatisfaction emotionally within her soul. And after responding to that twinge, she actually visited us and talked with us. And then she tried some other things out and she went back to the third sphere in her development and started opening up and being truthful emotionally. And remember she said she had to become real emotionally. And when she did that, when she became completely real and let go of all of her definitions of God and let go of all of her definitions of herself, she began to experience God emotionally. And then she progressed beyond the sixth sphere into the seventh sphere and then up to a one minute. And when she talked on that D DVD, she was in the ninth sphere or tenth sphere or something, she said. Now, she believed herself to be at one with God. And she said all the words to herself that she was at one with God. But she never had the emotional experience of being one with God. And this is where all of you are going to find it difficult listening to people. When a person has the emotional experience of being one with God, they are very different than the person who is intellectually thinking they've had the emotional experience of being one with God. The persons that will talk to you who, have, who, who think they know what one means will be very intellectual in all of their into relationship with you. You will feel their intellect more than you'll feel their passion. You will feel their intellect more than you'll feel their desire. You will feel their intellect more than you feel their emotions. When they have received some divine love, you will feel them differently. And many people on earth have received divine love and don't know it. Many people on earth who have been a part of all different movements on earth which are all natural love movements because they all began in the sixth sphere they have received some divine love because in their heart they have this connection desire with God this is what I'm saying it's an individual thing so I can't say well when you receive divine love you will know in your heart when another person has you'll feel it from them that they have because they reflect it at you when I say they reflect it the quality of their love changes it's modified by the divine. And that's why I said in the first century, let your light shine before men. The light, which is the divine love entering the soul, changes the soul and its characteristics and attributes so much that in the end, you end up relating with people totally differently. Every relationship with a person is emotional. Right? It's not intellectual. So, so even now, like right now, I'm absorbing all of your emotions and feeling, feeling them. Right? And some of you are absorbing some of my emotions and feeling it. Can I ask you here, like being in the presence of Ananda Giri, I feel this, I feel full of love and I feel that love from him is reflected, therefore really opening me up mm -hmm. to love. Yep. And that's the same being in the presence with Bhagavan and mm -hmm. Ama. Even before even going to Ama, on the way I could really feel my whole being opening mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. and, and being in your presence is just such, a, such an experience you cannot put in words. But being in, in your presence, I don't have that same experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, so why is that? Well, I mean, I know I feel very triggered by what you're saying. Mm -hmm. but can, can you feel your emotions inside of when I'm talking? Because it, it's the emotional blockages inside of yourself that are preventing any any of my love from entering you. Whereas when you're with love, so love. any of my love, yeah, not God. So I can't love. I can't give you God's love. Remember I said no, that. I, know, that's yeah. I can't give you God's love. I can only reflect the love that I have inside of me to you. 
Now, what, what all, of those, all of those gurus that you've mentioned are doing are reflecting the spirit, a spirit's love to you, a six-sphere spirit's love, and you are open to it emotionally. You are letting yourself feel that emotionally because you accept that truth. You accept that what they're saying to you is truth. Whereas what I'm saying to you, you don't accept as truth. So therefore you're not going to be open to the emotional experience. But already this morning we've had two ladies that have been open to that emotional experience. Does that make sense? So, so it's okay, I'm not condemning you or anything. I'm just saying what's actually going on and why the blockage is there. Yeah. And the key is to understand what's going on emotionally. What's happening emotionally is that there are some very, very strong emotions within you that you can feel if you enter, enter into any emotional transaction with me will be exposed within yourself. And you resist that. You don't want those emotions to be exposed within yourself. All you want at the moment is a feeling of love, but you don't want the emotions of responsibility, that, of, the, of the underlying emotions inside of yourself. That's, that's what I'm saying to you. So at the moment, here's your soul, right? You're, you're fully desiring love. So you want the expected feeling of love. But inside of your soul, there are feelings opposite to love. Inside of yourself. Injuries based from childhood experiences. Inside of yourself. And at the moment, you are choosing to not experience any of those. All you want is this feeling of love, this feeling of love, this feeling of love. But not experience these other terrible feelings inside. So you're at the moment selectively choosing what you want to experience. And so what's happening is you become very, very focused on experiencing the love, but inside of your soul you're not allowing yourself to experience all of your own emotion. And what that's going to do is prevent you from experiencing God's love. The love you'll be receiving will be from a spirit or from a person on earth who has more love than yourself. But it won't be God's love. The reason why is because God wants you to open up your soul completely to her without any reserve and without any suppression of your own emotions. If that makes sense. And if, if you can do that, if you can open up yourself to God without any reserve and without any, without full, and with full expression of your own emotions, then when you long for light, divine love, you will receive it and it will be a very emotional experience. It won't be just an intellectual recognition of love being radiated to you, you will be crying your eyes out as you're receiving it. 